CNN Philippines abbreviated CNNPH, is a commercial broadcast cable and satellite television network in the Philippines. It is owned and operated by Nine Media Corporation together with Radio Philippines Network RPN, as the main content provider under license from Turner Broadcasting System owned by at and WarnerMedia. Replacing Nine TV, CNN Philippines was launched on 16 March 2015. CNN Philippines is the fifth local franchise of CNN in Asia, after CNN Indonesia, CNN Turk, CNN Arabic and CNN Ibn India. CNN Philippines local programming is produced from the upper ground floor of the Worldwide Corporate Center, Shaw Boulevard Corner Epifanio de Los Santos Avenue in Mandaluyong City. The channel maintains its analog transmitter located at the RPN compound, No. 97 Panay Avenue, Brigi. South Triangle, Quezon City, while digital transmission facilities are located at the Nuestra Señora de la Paz subdivision, Simulong Highway, Barangay Santa Cruz, Antipolo City, Rizal. On October 14, 2014, Turner Broadcasting System with Nine Media signed a five-year brand licensing agreement, until December 31, 2020, that will build the alliance between the two news agencies on television and online. CNNPH was launched on March 16, 2015, 6 a.m. PST, and is seen on RPN's flagship station DZKB-TV, Channel 9 in Metro Manila and among all regional stations in Channel 9 Cebu and Davao, Channel 12 Bagu. Radio, Channel 10 Ariga, Channel 8 Bacolod, Channel 5 Cagayan de Oro and Zamboanga. It operates daily via analog from 6 a.m. to 12 o'clock Minnesota, while its programming broadcasts 24 hours daily on cable, satellite, digital terrestrial television and live streaming providers. Background under the brand licensing agreement between Turner Broadcasting System and Nine Media, the latter will pay CNN an undisclosed amount of monthly fee for programs and expertise from CNN International and CNN U.S. that will air in the CNN Philippines in exchange of locally produced news, current affairs and lifestyle programs and rolling news coverage from Nine News, all based on the standards of CNN. Also, Nine News will be trained by CNN staff at the CNN Center in Atlanta, Georgia to enhance their reporting that will also help them to contribute reports for CNN International along with its news bureaus scattered worldwide, as consultants from the latter will help Nine Media, RPN for further development and expansion of CNN Philippines. The official news website, 9news.ph will be redesigned and changed into cnnphilippines.com.on The day of the soft launching of CNN Philippines held last October 14, 2014, at the Solaire Resort and Casino, CNN Worldwide President Jeff Zucker released a statement that said, The global news gathering power of CNN combined with the local perspective 9 Media Corporation brings enables us to provide first-class news and information to millions of Filipinos in a way that we have not been able to previously. I couldn't be happier to welcome CNN Philippines to the CNN family. Presidential Communications Operations Office PCOO, SEC. Sonny Coloma was the guest of honor at the trade launch of CNNPH at the Philippine International Convention Center the following day. RPN, the broadcaster of CNNPH, was under the portfolio of PCOO, also known as Media Ng Bayan, from 1986 sequestration from the Benedicto family, the original owner of RPN, until 2011, when Solar Entertainment Corporation privatized the station, although PCOO still owns 20% minority share on RPN. History Talk TV 2011-2012 The channel was known as Talk TV from March 2, 2011, to October 29, 2012, on SBN Channel 21. Talk TV is formed by the Solar Television Network, by then owned by Solar Entertainment Corporation after the latter led the privatization of former state-sequestered Radio Philippines Network RPN, in 2011. The first programs that aired on the channel were Dateline NBC, The Today Show, Today. S Talk, NBC Nightly News, Inside Edition, Tonight Show with Jay Leno and Late Show with David Letterman, Solar News, known for its back-to-basics and unbiased journalism, was formed in January 2012 during the coverage of the impeachment trial of former Chief Justice Renato Corona. 
Post EDSA Revolution ABS CBN Newsman Pal Marquez, Jing Magsaysay, and Pia Hontiveros, together with former ANC anchors Claire Seldron, Mai Rodriguez, and Nancy Orlando, were known as the pillars of Solar News. Repertorial team was composed by former reporters of RPN Newswatch, the sole and longest running English newscast of Radio Philippines Network, which was stopped airing in 2012 as an effect of RPN. S. Privatization, the hourly news bulletin Solar News Update, now headlines, first aired in March 2012, followed by the primetime newscast Solar Network News and Solar Nightly News, which started airing in June 18 and July 16 of the same year, and Daybreak and Newsday in October 1, 2012. On October 30, 2012, at 5.30 a.m., UTC plus 8 o'clock, Talk TV finally signed off to make way for the launching of the first 24-hour English news channel on both cable TV and free-to-air TV, Solar News Channel. Solar News Channel 2012-2014 to Dubbed then as the first 24-7 all-English news channel on free TV. Solar News Channel SNC, replaces Talk TV. SNC was launched at 5.45 a.m. of October 30, 2012, on SBN Channel 21. During the first months of the operations, the channel was producing major local newscasts including a native-language newscast Solar News Cebuano, a sports newscast Solar Sports Desk and Public Affairs Programs Legal HD, MedTalk, News, PH, Opposing Views, Elections 2013 and News Cafe. 60 Minutes, Top Gear, Undercover Boss and the Stories documentary block was also launched during SNC's time. SNC launched its own mobile application for smartphone users. It consists of features such as live streaming, catch-up episodes, newscasts and stories, and latest news from the network. S website, solarnews.ph.in November 2013, San Miguel Corp. President and COO Ramon S. Ang personally acquired the minority stake of STVNI. Brothers Wilson and William T. Ang were the majority stockholders then of STVNI. In December 1, 2013, SNC moved to RPN Channel 9 for the improvements of the signal and to cater a wider audience, after RPN's former occupant and Solar Entertainment owned Etc. returned to SBN Channel 21, Etc. was aired in SBN 21 from 2008 to 2011 then at RPN 9 from 2011 to 2013. Solar News Channel then began to phase out its solar branding on its newscast as it leaned away from the Tiangs. It also launched the Kapampangan National Newscast Kapampangan News, along with the public service program Servicio All Access, which is shown in Filipino language. Solar News Channel was closed down before midnight of August 22, 2014. 9 TV 2014-2015 SNC was relaunched as 9TV on August 23, 2014. The solar brand on Channel 9 was retired after the ALC group of companies through ALIW Broadcasting Corporation bought out the 34% stake of the Tiangs group with Solar Television Network and RPN9. The Tiangs were losing money after they invested in RPN9 and the group focused on the cable channels of Solar Entertainment Corporation. Solar News was then rebranded as 9 News, with the programming and personnel retained. Kids Weekend, Home Shopping Network, TV Mass for the Homebound and local informative shows including Something to Chew on, Boys. Ride Out, Drive, Good Company, Two Stops Over and Bogart Case Files became part of 9 TV. S programming lineup controversies also hounded 9TV as one of the motor pool drivers of the news division allegedly violated traffic rules after the news crew cab was entered a no left, no entry road counterflow, while on hazard in the Ballara area last September 14, 2014. Nine News Management then imposed a disciplinary actions and penalties against the driver and his designated reporter and cameraman. Transition to CNN Philippines on October 14, 2014, Kabangon Chua announced their partnership with the Turner Broadcasting System. 
S Cable News Network (CNN) as a part of transition to CNN Philippines. Nine TV temporarily used green screen as its news studio in December 2014, along with the renovations of the newsroom and the strategic hiring of the personnel. And its newscasts began adopting the CNN graphic package more than a week later, January 15, 2015, in time for Nine TV. S coverage of Pope Francis's visit to the country. Home Shopping Network Now Shop TV and Kids Weekend Block are also axed on the said month. Foreign non-CNN produced programs NBC and CBS programs were also dropped in February, including NBC Nightly News which was, in any way, unrelated to the suspension, and the eventual axing of its news anchor Brian Williams on February 10, 2015, a few weeks before being pulled out of the 9TV programming, due to controversies regarding to the Iraq War helicopter incident. Launch and first eight months CNN Philippines was launched after a few weeks of preparation on March 16, 2015. In its initial broadcast, picture format remained in full 4-3 standard definition while testing the 14-9 broadcast format overnight. Since Holy Week of 2015, CNN Philippines started full-time broadcasts on 16-9 widescreen format, aligning with several CNN worldwide channels. However, the output is shown as a 14 to 9 letterboxed widescreen, both on free to air and cable satellite. It is the first Philippine free to air and TV channel to use the 14 to 9 aspect ratio to match the latter format, a distinction that lasted until March 2017. Mag say say out, Jaron Bennett in. In September 2015, Nine Media Corporation President Reggie Galura and CNN Philippines SVP for News and Current Affairs Jing Magsaysay left the network, following the right-sizing retrenchment of 70 junior staffers and contractual employees, who worked in the company for programming and technical engineering divisions. Effective November 2, 2015, CNN International's Army Jaron Bennett took over as managing editor of CNN Philippines, replacing Magsaysay. Bennett had been the head of CNN Content Sales and Partnerships in Asia Pacific after 17 years of working as writer and producer on various programs for CNN and CNN International. Her production expertise gave her an 2012 Emmy Award for the coverage of the Egyptian Revolution of 2011 and a nomination for Typhoon Yolanda Hayen coverage in 2013. Born and raised in Manila, Jaron Bennett began her career as radio newscaster before moving as an intern in the CNN Center in 1996. Expansion of news operation and first anniversary on February 15, 2016, CNN Philippines updated its station bumpers and intros for their newscasts, similar to some CNN international programs like CNN Newsroom, CNN Today, International Desk, CNN Money and CNN Money View, with bluer hue, with exceptions to their lifestyle programming, while newer bumpers for general segments and current affairs shows followed suit. The channel also changed their theme music for their newscasts and bumpers and added new programs, led by the Philippine edition of New Day. Nightly News was axed in favor of an expanded newsroom, making CNN Philippines Network News the sole lineal brand holdover from its solar tenure. Personalities from other networks such as Pinky Webb joined CNN Philippines, where she is the main anchor of Balaton, its first ever newscast in Filipino, which was first used in Servicio All Access and in the post-debate analysis of Pilipinas Debates 2016. Since February 2016, CNNPH also started to phase out current affairs shows that debuted under Solar News Channel, Legal Help Desk, former CNN shows Eco Solutions, and HLN produced shows Nancy Gray Grace and Dr. Drew on call, that were aired as filler programming in favor of newer staple programming such as Smirconish and more room for news programming. Emphasis on local and global programming In August 2016, CNN Sans, the corporate font of their mother network, was heavily replaced Helvetica that was used during their transition and first year of operation, which used as substitute to Gotham, as the on-air graphics of their newscasts and current affairs shows, following suit on the implementation of the new font in all CNN-operated and franchised networks worldwide. 
The font was later used on their promos and revamped bumpers on March 2016, and also on their Pilipinas Debates 2016 Vice Presidential Leg and Traffic Center, which shared with the same graphic package. HLN produced programs such as Morning Express, Weekend Express and The Daily Share, which ended on HLN. S programming on mid-November 2016 were axed from the local lineup during the main network. S coverage of the respective Republican and Democratic national conventions but returned on August 23 due to putting the premiere of CNN International Programming, Amanpour and Anderson Cooper 360, on hold. Amanpour, whose select stories were featured on CNN PH's Global Conversations, was eventually given the go signal, but is only shown on special occasions when the show discusses Philippine affairs in global context. Its first standalone broadcast on CNN PH was on August 31, 2016, with Christiane Amanpour interviewing Senators Alan Peter Cayetano and Leila de Lima. CNN, U.S. Programming, The Lead, Smirconish and Reliable Sources that aired during their first year of operation were aired in limitation on the same month. Aaron Burnett Outfront remained on the local lineup until September 22, 2016. Since mid-September 2016, HLN programming was relegated to the cable-only overnight graveyard slot to make way to the expansion of current affairs blocks. The Service Road with James Deacon debuted on September 19 while The Source with Pinky Webb followed suit a week later. Two CBS-produced shows, 60 Minutes and Undercover Boss, Canada, were axed the same month. Effective October 9, 2016, Army Jaron Bennett was appointed as president of Nine Media Corporation. With her promotion to presidency, more CNN international shows began airing as weekend staples, notably The Art of Movement and Vital Signs with Dr. Sanjay Gupta, that premiered during the latter week of October. Vital Signs is currently a companion show to CNN PH's MedTalk. Second Year, Sweeping Restructuring Sweeping restructuring started out by February, starting off with the further replacement of shows originating from the network's predecessors. Newsroom was further expanded to include a mid-morning Filipino newscast with Ruth Cabal, a former news anchor and reporter from GMA Network, replacing Servicio All Access since February 6 and a weekend edition since March 4. Additional political shows also premiered such as Political Insider with Gilbert Remela, now axed as of July 2017 after the sought controversy of said host, due to his strong opinion stance leaning towards President Rodrigo Duterte on engaging word wars against with the Liberal Party supporters on Twitter. CNN Philippines Network News would be retired and replaced with News Night with Pia Hontiveros effective March 27, and weekend slots would be filled by Sports Desk Weekend effective March 11. Upon cancellation of Cebuano and Capampangan News on April 2017, the second hour of CNN Newsroom, simulcast from CNN International, replaced the vacant slot. In April 2017, the network reconfigured to a 16 to 9 anamorphic widescreen standard definition format, eliminating the use of letterbox. On September 1, 2018, CNN Philippines launched its weekend morning block, consisting of animated shows from sister channel Cartoon Network, infotainment show Kiddo, and a 15-minute junior edition of its news program Newsroom, thus making it more similar to the kids' weekend block from its predecessor 9TV. Awards and citations on April 2016, CNN Philippines bagged six awards from the Golden Dove Awards of the Kapasanan ng MGA Broadcaster ng Pilipinas, most notably, the Best Newscaster Award for Newsroom Anchor Mitzi Borromeo. On June 30, 2016, CNN Philippines was recognized as the Television Station of the Year in the Rotary Club of Manila Journalism Awards, during the 6th EduCircle Awards, Pia Hontiveros and Pinky Webb were given a special citation for their work on the lone vice presidential leg of the Pilipinas Debates 2016. Digital Television 
On January 28, 2016, CNN Philippines through Radio Philippines Network is conducting a DTT testing using ISDBT on UHF Channel 19 503.143 MHz in preparation of digital television in the Philippines, which is expected to be fully implemented in 2023. As of July 2017, RPN installed DTV facilities in Antipolo City, as the analog tower in Quezon City is incapable of sustaining the digital signal coverage for most areas. Exact location of the tower remained undisclosed, but sources said that RPN may have shared transmission facilities with radio station 979 Home Radio, where it also transmits from the same site, given that both stations are under ALC s common ownership. Ironically, it is also the same transmitter location for Nine Media s former affiliate and broadcast partner, Solar Entertainment Corporation, who founded Nine Media as Solar Television Network, and Broadcast Enterprises and Affiliated Media, Inc., who severed its blocktime agreement with Solar in September 2014, about a month after Solar sold RPN assets to its current owners, in preparation for its own DTV broadcast. Programming CNN PH broadcasts local news and international reports from the CNN, US and CNNI reporters pool. Current affairs and lifestyle programs are also aired and produced by different local production outfits. As a part of the deal between CNN and Nine Media Corporation, select programs from CNN, US and HLN also air, mainly in the overnight hours. Simulcasts between CNNPH, CNNI and CNN-US When warranted, breaking stories and special scheduled events are also broadcast on CNNPH via the US or international feed. Notable of these were during the Paris and Brussels terrorist attacks, select US presidential speeches and US presidential election coverage. Hosts and news anchors current Pia Hontiveros, CNN Philippines chief anchor and correspondent, Pinky Webb, senior anchor and correspondent, Sheree Mercado Ruth Cabal, CNN Philippines senior correspondent, Mitzi Borromeo Mai Rodriguez Andre Felix Menchu Macapagal Charles Tiu Christine Jacob Angel Jacob Drive. Freddy Gomez Ria Tanjuatko Trio Mike Alamoring, CNN Philippines Business Analyst. James Deakin, Gabby Sandijas, Newsroom Junior Edition Anchor. Nate Lopez, Newsroom Junior Edition Anchor. Dana Villano, Newsroom Junior Edition Anchor. Janella Renner, Newsroom Junior Edition Anchor. Isaac Dantes, Newsroom Junior Edition Anchor. Emin Rivera, Newsroom Junior Edition Anchor. Former Jing Magsaysay, Amelin Veloso, deceased. Claire Seldrin, Malu Takia, Rona Jamir, Karen Jimeno. Hilary Isaac, Jun Tariman, Maiko Halili, Gilbert Remela, Nicolette Henson Heisen, Paolo del Rosario, Sesca Litton, Ghani Oro. Correspondence Current Ina Andolong, Senior Correspondent, Malacanang David Santos, Senior Correspondent, Defense Anjo Alamario, Justice Correspondent Zian Archangel, House of Representatives Paolo Barcellan, General Assignments Carolyn Bonquin, General Assignments Gerg Cahils, PNP, General Assignments Joyce Ilas, Senate A. C. Nichols, Sandiganbayan, General Assignments Tristan Nadalo, Entertainment 
McCoy Popico General Assignments Rex Remedio Business General Assignments Sam Sadwani Sponsored Features Tricia Tirada General Assignments Pauline Verzosa Sports Features Former Camille Abadicio Pia Banalos Lois Calderon Patricia de Leon Christine de Guzman Paulo del Rosario Camille Elimia Ana Estanislao Paul Garcia Kimberly Go J. C. Gotinga Claire Zhao Cecile Lardizable Isabella Montano Fiona Nicholas Miguel Ortia Paula Palma Brian Poe Carol Ramoran Ivy Sonner Affiliate References External links Media Ownership Monitor Philippines – Television by Vera Files and Reporters Without Borders